The second season of the gripping thriller series, Alice in Borderland, is set to premiere in just a few months, December 22. The criminally underrated Netflix original show is unsurprisingly among Redditor's picks for series from the streaming giant that definitely deserve more attention. From the exhilarating sci-fi show, Travelers, to the espionage miniseries inspired by true events, The Spy, fans of underrated Netflix original shows have flocked to Reddit to share their opinions and persuade others to check the series viewers have been sleeping on. Travelers, 2016-2018. Travelers is a sci-fi series centered on time travel. It follows a group of people who are sent back in time to prevent societal collapse. They take over people's minds before they're meant to die in order to minimize major changes in the timeline. The travelers are also tasked with following the director's plan, who is able to communicate with the past by temporarily controlling children. There are Redditors like MT Right 4 who describe how they really enjoyed the show and also feel like it is underrated. It was sadly cancelled after three seasons, but ended in a somewhat satisfying way that still makes the entire series worth watching for newcomers. Dark, 2017-2020. Set in the fictional village of Winden, Germany, Dark is centered on a mystery that slowly unravels after the troubling disappearance of a child. The characters soon uncover bizarre connections between four estranged families, which are inextricably linked to a time travel conspiracy that affects several generations. The user Savaclay doesn't have to say much more than Dark, in a thread about the most underrated Netflix original series. Its unique take on time travel and thought-provoking philosophical themes create a riveting story that will keep viewers at the edge of their seats. Maniac 2018. The award-winning and binge-worthy Netflix miniseries, Maniac, is centered on two strangers who meet during a risky pharmaceutical trial. Annie Landsberg and Owen Milgram both have baggage and soon find them confronting their issues during the psychologically intense tests by Neverdean Pharmaceutical Biotech. According to Mudkip 2018, Maniac is the most underrated show on Netflix. It's both ridiculously funny, insightful, and, at times, heartbreaking. The show takes some pretty strange turns when the experimental drugs begin to affect Annie and Owen. Its relatable characters and amusingly bizarre setting result in a genuinely fun viewing experience unlike any other. The OA 2016-2019. The mystery drama series The OA follows the story of Prairie Johnson, who was blind when she disappeared for seven years before shocking everyone by returning and being able to see. Calling herself, The OA, Prairie organizes a group of locals to share bits and pieces of her experiences, while also tasking them with helping her rescue people from other dimensions. With the way it mixes crime, fantasy, and drama, it's not surprising that there are users like Bory Scrump who, liked the Netflix series. It's unfortunate that it was cancelled after just two seasons, ending on a cliffhanger that has left fans with more questions than answers. Love, Death Robots, 2019 Present the anthology series, Love, Death Robots, is a collection of standalone short films that deal with different themes. The subjects can range from fantasy and comedy to horror and science fiction, with most of the episodes in Love, Death Robots portraying scary stories set in dystopian fictional worlds. The Redditor of the Sacred Dash shares how they love the show in a thread about underrated Netflix series. They highlight the episode with the yogurt, which tells the amusing story of how sentient yogurt turned the planet into a utopia. 
Its wild narratives and a wide array of art styles definitely make it worth seeing at least once. Mindhunter 2017 to 2019. The psychological crime thriller series Mindhunter is centered on the experiences of FBI agents Holden Ford and Bill Tench alongside psychologist Wendy Carr. The group plans and executes interviews with serial killers in order to glean crucial information about the way their minds work. The criminals are based on real-life notorious serial killers like Edmund Kemper and Wayne Williams. It's a must-see series for true crime fans, with NMZB6 pointing out how it was amazing. Its gritty atmosphere, appropriate slow pace, and hair-raising dialogue with the killers will make viewers feel like they're right in the interview room with the agents. American Vandal 2017-2018 For those who are sick of the true crime hype, the satirical mockumentary American Vandal should be considered essential viewing. The award-winning series pokes fun at the true crime genre by depicting humorous petty pranks that are treated as serious offenses. These include a mysterious case of 27 faculty cars that have been vandalized and a cafeteria's lemonade that's contaminated on purpose. The Redditor Snarfox details how the show is one of the funniest things they have ever watched, adding that it may not for everyone but they were truly dumbfounded it was not more popular. It was so unpopular, in fact, that Netflix cancelled it after just two seasons. Alice in Borderland 2020 present. Alice in Borderland is an ongoing series set in an abandoned version of Tokyo. It initially follows a group of friends who are mysteriously transported there and are forced to compete in deadly games like Witch Hunt and Distance. Every game they survive earns them more days for their visas, those with expired visas are immediately killed by lasers from the sky. The user Dr. Harry Hood remarks that they thought it was better than the more popular Squid Game, explaining how the Japanese series has grittier characters and just a more chaotic plot. It's a darker and arguably more thrilling show that is rooted in an irresistible mystery, too. Agritsuko 2018 Present a 25-year-old panda becomes more disillusioned and frustrated by her thankless day job in Agritsuko. The protagonist copes with her mundane yet tiring days by chugging beers and putting all of her emotions into singing death metal. These outlets don't do enough to help her cope with inconsiderate bosses, annoying co-workers, and her growing desire to quit her job. The animated comedy series entertained Flaxseed BP, who warns that some will find this too real. The protagonist's struggles are too relatable, as even outside the workplace, her financial issues may hit too close to home. The Spy 2019. The Spy is inspired by the true story of the Mossad operative, Eli Cohen. Set during the days before the 1967 Six-Day War between Israel and Syria, the miniseries depicts Cohen's ingenious but risky infiltration of the Syrian Ministry of Defense. He also becomes part of Syrian high society in the process. The Redditor Maprumzibs considers it among the foreign language shows that should get more attention. It's full of nerve-wracking scenes and brilliant strategic moves by the protagonist, which all lead to a heartbreaking but powerful ending. <laughs>